Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. Hello and welcome to our musical universe. My name is Matt Russo. I'm an astrophysicist and a musician at the University of Toronto. And I created a planetarium show called Our Musical Universe, which is an audio tour of the cosmos. You'll be able to see the stars appear in the sky, but tonight you'll also be able to hear the stars appear with different notes depending on the colors and brightness of the stars. Well, we've been doing planetarium shows here for a long time, and recently I, I got into this fascinating field of sonification, or finding a way to hear data. How can you hear the stars, for instance? And the whole focus of the show is really the sounds, the rhythms and harmonies of the universe that we don't usually get to experience because astronomers are typically focused on visual information. And I realized we could combine these two worlds to make a planetarium show that could be accessible to people um, that aren't fully sighted. Matt was inspired to create a show accessible to guests of the blind community when he was approached by a partially sighted audience member who also wanted to experience the planetarium. He started with small adjustments to accommodate, and then the show expanded. I started by just increasing the contrast, making things brighter and bigger, but then I realized, why don't I just make music and sound the focus of the show? And so it can be completely accessible to everyone. And I hope that would open up the door to the universe to people that currently didn't have access. According to Matt, Jupiter's four largest moons also have the groove. Part of the show demonstrates what it sounds like when Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto orbit their planet. Matt is a trained musician. He's played in bands, but never thought he would be jamming with the universe. It's a lot of fun for me because I have the whole universe to play with, and I get to pick out the, the kind of greatest hits and bring them to an audience. The songs are played by the universe, but interpreted and recorded by Matt. He was able to focus in on the specific points like Trappist-1, a planetary system recently discovered. It has seven planets closely orbiting around a small red dwarf star. So the planets and their notes are going to enter one at a time. And once all seven planets are in, you'll start hearing drums. And these happen every time two planets pass each other, because that's when they give each other a little gravitational tug to keep this whole thing going. So every time they discover a new musical solar system, I run to my computer and type out the code, try to find out what notes it actually creates, and then I run to my guitar to listen to what it sounds like, and it's always completely different. I hope people understand that there really are musical patterns in the universe. So we think of music as a very human thing, and it is. It's a way we connect with each other, but it's also a way we can connect with the universe. And later on, we're going to develop the entire musical tour of the cosmos into a full planetarium show that could be shown anywhere else in the world.